Hi everyone, it's Karen. Um, I am here to show you another Easter basket. Um, it is so adorable that I just think everyone has to make them and they are so incredibly <laughs> fast to make. Um, literally, if you cut the paper, I think it's like two minutes. All right, that might be a little exaggerated. Close, maybe three. Well, we'll decide for ourselves. But um, I, I saw this on Sally Stampers and um, she had seen it on Pinterest, and I can't remember the woman's name, Diane something, but if you go to Sally Stamp, I'm pointing because she's on my TV, so I'm sure you all know that because I'm pointing. Um, if you go to Sally Stampers, then you can find out her name because she was, I think, the original one that made it. And when I made it, I don't know what you guys do for your kids um, when they're in preschool, which that was a million years ago for me. Um, and we, it, when it was Thanksgiving, we had to make the Pilgrim Girls hats and we cut the strips and pulled them all together. If you made that, you will understand the feeling I'm getting. And also, you know, I'm from Massachusetts, so we do Plymouth Rock Big over here. Um, so I am gonna put you down and show you. Oh, she made hers with cardstock and she used the basket weave embossing folder. I thought I had it, so I didn't order another one, but I don't think I have it, so I guess I need to order one. So anyway, I did mine with decorative paper because I didn't have um, the embossing folder to make it look exactly like basket weave. So I'm gonna put you down and we will get started. Okay, oh, I just knocked it off, hold on. Sorry, I put this um, shirt on and the sleeves are gargantuan. So I just came, so I just bought it. So I'm wearing it. Okay, so you need four strips and I'm using decorative paper, but you would use cardstock if you want. Um, and I cut out to do a cardstock one also, the opposite. So you need four strips, they're five and a half by three quarters. You need one strip at seven and a half by a half. And, oh, seven and a quarter by a half, sorry. And um, you need, this is for the handle, and it's five and a half, and she said one and a half on her video, but that's way too big, so I am cutting it at um, five and a half by a half for that. And I have extra pieces here if we have a problem. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the seven and a half strip, which I think is this, I just got this um, new um, printed paper, but it doesn't have numbers on it, so I have to keep counting. But, all right, so anyway, you're gonna take this, and you, oh, you need your score tape, or tear and tape, or any kind of good adhesive. And I don't think this is the right one. Uh, I think it's only supposed to be by a half. I could be totally wrong, but I'm kind of banking on the fact that I'm right. And I wonder if I should just cut. I'm gonna cut it and we'll see. Seven and a quarter by half. So, and my poor arm broke off of my trimmer here and I don't know why and I'm very cranky about it because I just got it. And it just made me sad. Oh, that is seven and a quarter. And then I'm gonna make it by a half of an inch is this and had this been cut out when I said it should have been cut out so you were prepared let's not even um <laughs> it didn't even cut through so when I get this cut let's pretend like we just started the video and then we can tell how fast it was okay oh well that's just terrific we're going with this whatever size it is no, I can't do it wrong. Hold on. Seven and, what did I say? Seven and a quarter by a half. I don't know why this is so difficult for me today. Maybe I'll use this one so I can butt it up. Nope, I'm gonna use this side. Just make sure all my little cubes are in the right place. All right. Okay, here we go. So, we are going to take this piece and we are going to put our tear and tape on it all the way across. Um, I can't find my bigger one. 
but um, I'm sure it's on my desk. I had just purchased a whole bunch of new um, Ikea drawers and stuff. So I sold my other ones. So I've been just emptying the stuff out to get them out to be sold. And everything is in boxes everywhere. And it's a mess. And yeah, it's a mess. All right. So you take your strip that you put your sticky strip on. And you put whatever you want on the outside down. So... This is from the um, sweets. The sweet sweet is what this is from, um, and just about probably like an eighth of an inch apart. And you can mark it if you want to measure it, but you can't tell at the end. So I say let's leave that step out. Okay. So after you get them all on here, then you're going to take the first strip. And we're going to twist it so that we keep this cupcakes on the inside. And we're just going to pop that there. Then you're going to take and do the same just to make sure that the um, printed paper you want is still on the outside. And then we're going to do this one. And then we're going to do the last one. And then we take this and we match it up. And like... Seriously, that's totally it. That's what it is. Um, and I don't know if any of you felt that, but it also looks like a little crown. But it does remind me of Thanksgiving. Sorry, I don't know why, just because. And if you wanted, and I should have done it, and I did it on that one, is to um, take your bone folder and, you know, release the fibers and help it be more round and not be the way it is. You also, um, I think I said you needed one and a half. Um, what did I get? One and three quarters. Circle is one and three quarters. And then you're basically just going to pop this on the bottom. And that's just so it'll stand up for you. Okay, and then we're going to take our five inch by a half. I think I did a quarter, but. And we're just going to do that. She did it on the outside. And she did it with um, adhesive. Um, I think that this is cute. I also think that you could put a brad in there and make it like a little swing candle. But for the amount of time it takes, you could... No, I put the glue on the wrong side. For the amount of time it takes, you could totally make a bunch of these for a class so fast. And they're just cute. And you just dump a few little eggs in there, which running low, making too many baskets. And, I mean, they hold quite a few little, ah, until you knock it over, it holds great, a bunch of them. So that's this one, and that's this one. And since oh, I already cut out um, the pieces for the cardstock, I'm gonna do that real quick with the opposite being um, the decorative paper for the handle and for the bottom. All right, so you need again the four strips, which are five and a half by three quarters. One strip at seven and a quarter by a half, which I think this is this one. Oh, but I want the, sorry, I want the print one, right? Those are my dogs again, and we're just going to ignore them because I know it's just my son has pulled in the driveway and they apparently feel that they've never seen him before. So this we need at seven and a quarter, which it is, and then we're going to cut it at a half. All right. So this is what we are going to attach our sticky strip to, the extras. And we're just gonna put a strip down. Oh, I did it on the wrong side. Oh, why? That's what I say, why, oh why? All right, we're gonna do it again. Seven and a half by a quarter. Seven and a quarter by a half. I was close. All right, so I want this on the outside, so I wanna put 
the tape on the side I do not want to show. Although it is a lot of colors of Easter, you could do the other side. All right, we're gonna pull our strips off and we're just gonna lay these out the same. We're gonna make the front about it right up to the edge. Then we're gonna put the next one and the next one. And once you get all four, and they're stuck on there good. We're gonna take it, we don't have to worry about the side, but basically we want this inside to stay inside. So you're gonna turn it as you put it. Put it there, put it there, there, and there. So basically you've just turned them. And again, I forgot about the little fibers. Man. Thought I was so prepared for this one. I've been working on my um, my blog, and um, it's kind of coming together slowly, very slowly, but surely. And um, I, yeah, it's really coming. I had so many. My husband you know, went back to work today. Everyone, very happy about that. I'm happy because he's happy. Not because I can't really craft all day when he's here. For that reason, no, of course not. I'm happy that he's well and able to get better to go back to work. That is why. Anyway, last, let me just push up since we made such quick cards. All right, we didn't make card basket. Last night, I don't know if you guys saw it, but it is Buddy versus Duff in this big, you know, three week, challenge and they basically do um, two things per episode and then you get scored and you win and then you they keep points and in the beginning they said they were going to have one um just one person be the judge and her name is Shel sherry i can't think of her last name but she's a pastry artist so they both agreed that that she would be the perfect one for this and um so the first one, I think Duff, I think that Buddy won the first heat or whatever it was. And then Duff won the second one. Now, I'm a little behind because I just watched, you know, the number one, which was two weeks ago, I think I watched last night. And when Buddy didn't win, we're talking about Buddy Velastro, the cake boss, and Duff Goldman, the, the awesome cake person. Anyway, when Buddy didn't win, he walked off the set and stormed over to the producer, apparently to complain that he didn't win. He never came back on, never congratulated Duff and said, hey, good job, I'm a sore loser. No, he did none of that. Did not come back. And then I think the, the next episode, Buddy says, I'm not a sore loser. And I'm like, you totally showed every child in America what a sore loser is. I mean, there was no doubt he was, I've never seen an adult act like that in my life. You would think they were playing for a million dollars and this was gonna save his family from, you know, feast and famine. Not, I, I was horrified. I could not believe it. I even had a tweet about it. Now I used to tweet all the time, but I think I harassed people, so I had to stop. But I, could not believe that he walked off the way he did. Especially his kids, like, yeah. So, since he stormed off, suddenly there's now an, an additional judge, which seems kind of strange that right after Buddy storms off, they get a second judge. And I think that was totally Buddy saying, I don't want her to just pick, pick who she likes to have win. And since Buddy stormed off, Duff has been losing. And the thing is, if you look at what they both did, because Buddy's is bigger does not make it better. And Duff totally should have won. But um, yeah, no, nope, he didn't. And I 100% believe it's all Buddy. And I think that HGTV or Food Network, I think it's Food Network, either one, Food Network, they are afraid of Buddy walking off and not finishing the competition. That's just what my thought is. I don't know that it's true, but I, I, have, I just have to say, never ever in my life have I seen an adult or a child. 
I don't think I've ever seen one of my kids ever walk away from a board game because they weren't winning. Or well, what's that? I'm going to take my ball and go home. Never. I, I, I would have to say that was a kindergartenish thing to do, and he should be really ashamed of himself. So I just couldn't believe that he comes on the next episode, and he talks about how he's not a sore loser. And you're like, really, buddy? Because who ran off the TV show? Like, here they are, the two of them, the cameras are there, buddy loses, and he walks off, and then the camera shows him, like, talking to the producer. I was horrified. I just had a share because I've got myself all worked up again. Just, I, I was horrified. Anyway, all right. So we're going to put our circle on. Ugh, now I'm going to be upset all afternoon again. Why did you guys make me tell you that story? All right, so just pop on your little guy. And that's going to make him stand up. And then, what do I want? This guy? Let me cut... Oh, do I want to do it? Yeah, I want to do it in the dotted. i to stop knocking stuff over. So I'm going to just cut um, a five and a half by, what do I need? A half. Five and a half by a half. And that's for the handle. I don't know if you guys can see me, but I'm just cutting it after I made the mistake. All right, so now I got my handle, and I'm just, now this one, we want the little decorative paper. And again, just put it wherever you want. Probably where that seam is would be good. And then we just have to put some here. And again, I would do the whole um, breaking up the fiber things, either, you know, with a bone fold or your, your fingernails, whatever, but it'll help it sit nicer. Okay, so, do I have any more candy? Just about. Oh, look at that, perfect. Okay, so these are my little, well, fair is fair. If I gave these to my children who are all adults, you better believe I'd hear who had the most chocolate. All right, so here are my three guys. Here are my two that I made. Oh, oh I, that's it. I am going to take my eggs and go home because this is not working out for me. So here are my um, other baskets. I put this one with the guys on the ends and this one with it on the front. And then you've got these little guys. All right, I got to go pick up my chocolate because my dogs are under the desk and I hear them scurrying about. But I would like to thank you guys for coming by. And um, if you want to check out my blog slash webpage, it's scrapbyscrap.com. And um, only some of it is done. So half of it shows like mountains and skiing and other stuff shows craps. It's a long story. But anyway, um, I want to thank you for coming. I also would like to mention that I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And um, if... You like the papers that I use? They're all Stampin' Up! that I used today. Um, and you can... Oh, that might help if I told you. This is all from the Sweets Treat thing. And I use Coastal Cabana and Highland Heather cardstock. And uh, if you want to buy any anything from Stampin' Up! My 24-7 uh, store is scrapbyscrap.com. And... Oh, no, no, it's not. Scrapbyscrap.stampinup.net. That buddy, he's got me in a tizzy, I think. So I apologize. And I know my eyes are going crazy. I hate recording on this phone because it feels weird to stare over there, even though I know that's where it has to be. But I just can't do it. So my father just had surgery because for the longest time, he has one eye that just kind of <laughs> goes where it wants. So you never could tell if he was, like, exactly yelling at you. If you could get your sister on the good eye side, you felt like you weren't even getting in trouble. It was kind of genius, but he just had surgery, so hopefully he'll get better. But he doesn't yell at me anymore, so I don't know if that matters. But I want you all to have a great night, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.